Hey everyone, we are back on Cape Cod and I've been reviewing some of my comments over the last week. And one of the requested videos was to make a comparison between Tesla Autopilot and Kia's advanced cruise control ADAS system, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Kia does have lane centering and uh, traffic awareness, cruise control, and those types of things. Very similar to Tesla. Um, so I thought I'd just make a comparison video between the two. I just want you to keep in mind that my Model S does have enhanced autopilot. So it has, you know, a little more premium feature that came with the car when I purchased it used. Um, but it's not really a comparison between those two things. Just be aware uh, as we get into the, the testing that we're going to do. I do not have full self-driving on my Model S. Uh, it has basic autopilot plus enhanced, which really just means I can do auto lane changes um but that's that's really it it's not, not nothing too fancy nothing really more advanced than um what what kia's pointing out in terms of uh lane centering and and the cruise control stuff but anyway let's get into it hey everyone back in ev9 and uh gonna just demo the driver assistance here uh kia does have lane centering as well as you know advanced cruise control it'll detect traffic set your follow distance um, and in the Kia, it's a two-step process. So on the steering wheel here, you have your lane centering button, and you also have your cruise control, just standard cruise control um, with follow distance. So in order to enable everything, you set the cruise control, you set your distance, which you can do with this button. I have it set for, you know, you could do two, three, four, and one, I set for one. And then you hit the steering wheel icon, and then you're good, and then you're cruising. And what you can do is you can adjust the speed in which you want to go with this toggle here. And yeah, then we're good. Now the, the key is going to tell me every, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, keep my hands on the steering wheel. I haven't had a situation yet in which it's shut off on me. I guess that's, I could, I could test that as well. Just like what that process is like. If you're not paying any attention, what, it's gonna happen um, but still I, I haven't had my hands on the wheel it hasn't asked me to nudge anything yet it's detecting the car in front of me um, but that's about it it's not gonna pick up this car over here no so I mean that's really it um, there is a forward-facing camera and I'm, I'm assuming this car is some level of uh, radar as well but works pretty well I will say sometimes I find that the car can't stay completely centered in the lane um, and that's where I find autopilot to be a little better now we're braking a little bit which is good it's actually using a, I think a little bit of the regen braking to stop which is cool it's integrating that it's not doing full brake because I could see the regen uh, occurring on the on the screen here which is cool but you know it's gonna slow down for traffic let's see how it handles this they had a pretty well stayed center in the lane it's detecting that vehicle on the side there um just, this is not going to have as many enhanced visuals as my tesla um but it's it's smooth i mean just the car in front of me braked a little bit pretty good um i can't you know auto lane change like i can in my model s which has uh enhanced autopilot but you know I, I don't think that's a really a big deal at all like when i got my model s it came with that car so uh, pretty good so the other thing i want to talk about is like disengaging this thing so i can obviously hit the buttons to disengage oh, it finally asked me to keep my hands on the steering wheel that must have been like a full minute and a half it's, it's actually pretty good um so disengage so what i found was if you hit the brake it shuts off cruise control but the auto steer stays on and even when i try to like override the auto steer it always wants to put it back on so it constantly puts it back on so i think you have to literally hit the button in order to turn off auto steer and now the full system's off um so even when you hit the brake auto steer stays on which i think is kind of funny i don't know if there's another way to completely disengage like if in, in an emergency situation you know if i have to take control of the car why auto steer stays on but you know that could just be me not knowing what i'm doing it's very uh probable so there you go there's your uh kia adas 
uh, lane centering and uh, cruise control. Hey everyone, we are in the Model S, cruise on the highway. I'm going to enable autopilot, which in this Model S, my OG 2017, there actually is a separate stock for autopilot, which I don't think you can see on the camera, but it's down here below the uh, uh, turn signal, that's what it's called. And you just do one tap, and it's gonna automatically set the speed to what I have already uh, the speed in which I'm going at. So if I want to adjust the speed, you kind of toggle the the, the uh, autopilot stock down here and you can adjust the speed and you're basically going. So I'm centering the lane. Um, first thing I notice off the bat is there is nowhere near as much like joggling of the steering wheel I find between, like, within the lane. It seems a bit smoother in that regard. Um, and again, I don't have full self-driving. I have just, uh, I have what's called enhanced autopilot. It's the only step up above basic autopilot is the fact that I could do auto lane changes and do some of the silly summon features with the vehicle when it's parked. But, you know, other than that, um, it's really not, uh, nothing, nothing too different than basic autopilot. Um, it does slow down for traffic. I set my fall distance for, I think, the, the smallest amount, which is two. Um, Kia, you can set it to one, so there's a difference there. Um, but there's just a little less to do, I guess, with turning it on. Like, you just kind of you put the stock on once, and I have it set so that it automatically sets um, the auto steer, as Tesla calls it, plus plus the uh, cruise control. Um, my, only, my only comment would be, since the, like, recall that happened about a month ago, and they basically... You know beefed up the I guess security of the autopilot which means I have to nudge the steering wheel keep my hands on the wheel a little bit more than usual um, Kia seemed to go much longer stretches without me having to nudge the wheel but you know that, that's kind of marginal I don't think it's a really big deal um, but yeah I, I think that you know in playing around the two systems they're actually pretty comparable I think it's a little more comparable than people think I think Tesla's system um, in terms of like being able to detect other vehicles on the road from a safety standpoint maybe is better um, just because it has so many more cameras that are functioning at all times but I'm really uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed I think it's I think it's pretty good I think he has done a pretty good job with the system they have in place and for highway driving I think it's I think it's great and it's gonna be super useful for people going on long stretches of of trip so there's your uh there's your tesla vision of a bottle pilot so final thoughts as someone who's been driving tesla autopilot for the last three years i'm super impressed with kia i don't think there's very much of a difference personally between the two uh obviously tesla maybe has a the technology advantage um with just the camera system in the car if you drive a gt line EV9, or maybe even an EV6 for that matter. I'm not sure if it's similar trims. Um, let me know if there's any, any user experience uh, difference between the two, because I know the GT line has a couple more cameras. I don't know if it utilizes those for the driver's assistance at all, but you know that's something that um, you know I'm, I'm leaving out of this test. I have a wind trim EV9, which does not have those additional cameras. But all in all, I think for highway driving, Key is comfortable, easy to use, reliable, feels safe. <laughs> I mean, I think that's an important factor. I don't feel like the car is going to veer off of the road at any point in time. Um, there's definitely some more testing that needs to be done, especially with roads that are a little sketchier in terms of lane markings. That, that's the only thing. And that's something that Tesla still struggles with from time to time um, when, you know, the markings aren't clear or you're trying to get on and off an exit. I, I, I'm not sure how exactly that would work with the Kia. Um, but you know, in my short test that I did on the stretch of road on the highway works pretty good. So, um, I'm impressed Kia well done. And, uh, if that was like a, a, a point of contention between buying a Tesla and that, if you like the EV9, I say get the EV9. Uh, there really isn't much of a difference in terms of the 8S, in my opinion. So there you go. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.